Dear brothers and sisters, today we are in the 8th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Coming days, we start the Lenten season. Today the readings gives us message to reflect our own life, especially what we speak. In the first reading, we heard from the book of Sirach and the last verse, chapter 27, verse 7, it says, Do not praise man before you hear him, for this is the test of people. Bible says when a person speaks, we can understand what is in his heart and mind. And Jesus in the Gospel of Luke verse 45, he says, Out of abundance of heart, mouth speaks. Last week, during the weekdays, we meditated from a letter of St. James. And he says, our tongue is very small part of the body, but it can bring condemnation upon us. And St. James also writes in his letter, if any person says he is a religious, he is a Christian, he is a follower of Jesus, but he is not able to tame his tongue, his religiosity is no use. We read also in book of Sirach, chapter 20, importance of speech and also silence. And Jesus reminds us in Matthew chapter 12, verses 36, that every careless word which we utter from our mouth on the final day, we have to give a count of it. Holy Mother Church gives these readings just before we begin Lent, so that we prepare ourselves to enter into the Lenten season looking within ourselves, not judging other people. Surely, nobody is immune that we never sin through our words. We all have sinned. That's what St. Paul says in his letter to Romans chapter 3. And today in the second reading, St. Paul says that because of sin, death came to this world. But he also says, God doesn't want us to die. But his plan is that we live with him and have an eternal life in heaven. He writes in the second letter, Thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. God is ready to forgive our sins, whatever sins they are. And he offers us eternal life. But we can receive that gift only when we live according to the way which he showed us. He says, do not judge others so that you will not be judged. If we love one another, there is no room to judge other person. Let us ask God's pardon and ask for his grace so that we live our lives according to his plan. Let us also ask God's help so that we prepare ourselves in a worthy manner to receive the free gift which he is offering to each one of us. As we enter in few days time, a time of prayer, penance, let us prepare ourselves to receive God's grace in our lives.